It's always nice when they tell us the triangles are similar, so we kind of know what we're going to need to do. Probably set up a, a, a proportion, and the reason for that is they're giving us side lengths. So sometimes with similar triangles, they're asking about angle measures, and we know that that's kind of what makes triangles similar, is that their angle measures are the same. The sides will be different, uh, but the angles will be the same. Here, we're clearly dealing with um, sides, so we're going to have to draw two triangles to keep this kind of under control. Um, they don't say either one's a right triangle, but I just kind of out of habit draw those just because. Um, so let's A, B, C correspond X, Y, Z. Um, let's just, I don't know, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, right? Just go in the same order so you understand it better. Um, in triangle ABC, the length of AB is 170, and the length of BC is 850. So already <laughs> my picture does not match the just common sense of how right triangles work, but I, I don't care. It's all proportions. In triangle XYZ, the length of YZ, so that's down here, is 60. What is the length of XY? Well, notice that's the same side that I was given on the other one. Now I'm missing. So this is just a proportion. So uh, what I would do here is I'm going to start with my, my unknown. So XY, I like to put that unknown piece on the top. And then I think, okay, what corresponds with that, right? Since I have two triangles on left and right, let's let's organize it that way. So the, the 170 corresponds with the XY side. Then the only other side I have on the left is the 850, and the only other side I have on the right is the 60, and that's good because they clearly correspond as well, right? They're both kind of matching up uh, being on the bottom of this triangle. So now it's just a cross multiply and divide situation, but you also can skip the cross multiply because we can just get XY alone by multiplying both sides by 60. And this is why I put the uh, missing piece on the top, because if the missing piece is on the bottom, you can't do that as easily. So um, now in my calculator, I'm just going to do 60 times 170 and divide by 850. I get 12. There you go. Choice D is the answer. Uh, so there's a lot of big numbers here, and I think maybe the, the fact that the answer is 12 scares people. But remember, the left side triangle is the big one. The right side triangle is kind of like a normal size if such a thing exists. But also notice the relationship between the 850 and the 170. That's a big difference as well. So it makes sense that we would have a much smaller angle uh, side here compared to our 60 in the same way that 170 is much smaller than 850. So it all works out. But this is pretty typical. Similar triangles, you're always going to really be drawn some sort of proportion. Now, if they don't go ahead and say that the triangles are similar, you should still recognize that if a question is talking about two triangles, odds are good they're similar. You probably you know, need some sort of proportion, and so the, the picture will probably give you a big hint that it's similar triangles uh, as well. So there's only so many topics on the SAT, and what's good about geometry is there's very few that are things that are tested, and so if you see two triangles, odds are good it's going to be work that kind of looks like this.